Discrimination. Okay, how do you guys feel he was discriminated against? Well, a lot of the smaller sports were discriminated against because the sports, like unfair concessions were given out. The more popular sports were given more concessions. No, and I appreciate what you guys are doing. But, but you guys need to sit down and get your student leadership. And you guys need to sit down with the administration and talk this out. I love it. Hey, I like what you guys are doing. You know, it's great. You guys are standing up for what's right. And nobody's going to take that away from you guys, but you guys need to uh, to get back to class, really, honestly. Um, they, they, they've taken notice. I like that poster. <laughs> but, but, but they know, you know, you guys have made enough noise, and, and there's other teachers or coaches that are, that, you know, they're coming out with stories, and, and, uh, it's, it's great, you know, but but get back to class, all right? Okay? For me. Hey! Yeah. You guys do it honestly, all right? It's not, uh, they know, um, and, 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 and but you guys aren't, aren't doing anybody any good here. Yet. You guys are costing the district money, and the district hasn't done anything exactly, wrong. Exactly, so they could hear it. Hey, they are going to take care of it. Trust in, in the leadership of, of the district. Um, you guys, you guys, look, the, the Pathways program here is about law and justice, and, and you guys have demonstrated that, and, and, and just go back to class, please. All right? No, I don't want to go. I need to go to work for first period. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd be here till third. <laughs> You know, uh, yeah, you guys, are, you're just gonna, you're causing uh, more trouble than there needs to be, really, honestly. And and and, and they're gonna sit here and say that, that that I started this, and I know it was you guys, but you guys, you guys need to go back to class, honestly, please. We don't want to. We're gonna stay out here. So can you bring us food? <laughs> <laughs> All right, brunch. I'm going back. Hey, she's serious. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I know why the kids are out here, although I'll be right up front so not one student uh, has contacted me as to why they're out here. Okay, um, how do you feel about what you do know about why they have assembled this thing? Well, I believe this is an illegal activity that no student has made any attempt to contact me with any concern, with any um, issue, and as a school system, we expect students to abide by the laws and to honor uh, the system and to communicate their concerns in the proper channel. Has anyone else um, contacted you about the concession discrimination at, going on at Granite Hills? I have not believe? had one contact except for the, the one person that we brought up in the newspaper. Okay. And um, have you talked to David Gong about about anything lately? I have talked to David Gong about this, yes. Okay. And uh, what did he have to say? Well, I, that's a confidential conversation. He expressed a lot of views to me as to what he believes are going on, but those were his views. And uh, we're looking into the matter. Okay. Um, so you believe we should go back to class? I absolutely believe you should go back to class. Every student that's out here is truant from class. Uh, and I would expect all students to suffer the consequences of being truant from class. This is no different than if you were down the street uh, at someone's home or some market. You're out of class when you should be in class. You're not getting the instruction you should get. And I welcome your input. If you want to communicate your concerns to me, that's fine. I'm open to that. But conducting this rally, when no one has made any attempt to talk to me or anyone <laughs> at the district office about your concerns, is not the appropriate way to communicate your concerns. So you're just saying we should take other routes in trying to well, at least attempt, At least attempt the proper channels first. <laughs> you all know what you should be doing. You should either be writing letters, making calls, making an appointment, ask for me to come speak to you, something, rather than just walking out of class and attending a rally. 
That's not how you get things accomplished. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You're getting a life lesson, that's true. The consequences of ditching school. Is that what you wanted out of this? No, I think um, I'm signing up for the entire school. Is this the only way you can do that? Um, with this administration at Granite Hills, I feel. Did you even ask for a forum? Did you did you have any of you gone and talked to him about this? I claim that there's no concession at the board. When I strongly believe that there should be or there is. Have you, you talked to him personally about this? Yeah, yesterday. And he said what? That there's no concessions report. There's no concessions report? <laughs> there's no report. Okay. And so did you think that perhaps, okay, you didn't get the answer you wanted from him? Go to the next level? When, when you have a problem and you want to solve it, you go through the process to try to solve it. You don't just immediately take it to the street. That doesn't, that's not going to get you. This rally is not going to get anything. I think we got everyone's attention. I think that now it's no, going to be investigated. You've got some people attention. It was already been investigated based upon someone who came and expressed the concern the proper way. It's already being looked into. The outcome may not be what you want or what you like, but it's already being looked into. This has done nothing to further that cause. It's not going to change the outcome. We're not going to look at it differently or look at it more just because of this rally. We have the same concerns of anyone on what is fair, what is right, what is just. And not everybody's going to have access to all the information because we can't share everything with everyone. But the concession records should be available to anybody, even the student body who asks for them. And that's, we are looking into that. I don't know. We have been looking into other concerns that were raised first that were a higher priority than the concessions. The concession issue is going to be solved one way or the other, and it doesn't matter whether it's today or tomorrow. The concession issue is going to be resolved. Okay? You, you trust me on that? Like I say, it may not be the answer you want, or you may not agree with it, but it'll be... I think I would agree with any change because I think that you and anyone else in charge will make their decision. Well, I appreciate that comment. I appreciate that confidence. Uh, and we will. Like I say, I, not everybody is going to view it the same way. And what looks fair to one person doesn't always look fair to someone else. Our head coach, right. he's a teacher here. Right. So then he had a little more power. As before, Coach Camargo, he didn't teach here. He didn't have much power, so we had no concessions because I've been a varsity baseball player since freshman year, okay. and I realized that. And, for example, like, we've had the same jerseys since they first got here. We haven't gotten any jerseys. We have one jersey for home and away. We don't switch jerseys. We have everything. We don't raise enough money to get anything. I, I appreciate that comment. Uh -huh. I just wish you to call me at the right time, communicated that concern, had your coach contact me with that concern. Why, why do I have to hear about well, it now? The thing is, though, we, we contact our Mr. Bonhams, our principal, which is like our superior. We contact him many times, like for basketball. I play basketball, too. We try to raise money, and they should be able to tell that, oh, we have the same jerseys every year. I just think that should be enough. Like, I didn't think we would have to go all the way up. That's me personally. Well, and, and you may be right. Maybe you shouldn't have to. But sometimes you do. You know, you're not getting the answers you want or you feel are right. And not, and not that you ever will necessarily. Yeah. But at least if you've exhausted all your means of communication, all your avenues, then you have a better justification for something like this. And I've um, seen that a lot of coaches have expressed that they haven't said anything to um, their superiors because they don't want to rock the boat as in they want to keep their job. So uh, essentially we stood up for our coaches too today. I, I just wish you'd have done that through me 
rather than through the streets. I understand. But I mean, if like, like Clay was saying, if we can't like even feel like we can go to our principal, how are we supposed to know that the district office, which is a whole bunch of other problems, is going to handle our situation any better? Have you all seen me in your classrooms? I walk every classroom in the district. 600 plus classrooms I walk every year, twice a year. I'm in every classroom in the district twice a year, and I've done that for the last 10 years. So most of you should have seen me, if you've been in PUSD since high school, or since elementary school, you've seen me in your classroom. So I'm accessible. I'm not just running the district from an office far away where you never see me, you don't even know who I am. I'm in your classroom every year, twice a year. And I do that just so that on the chance that there's an issue, you feel comfortable in talking to me. I don't think this is an issue that we could just stop you and talk no, about. No, no, but, but hopefully it would convey the message that you can call me, say, you know, call my office, make an appointment, <coughs> ask me to come speak to your class, ask me to come speak to the student council, ask me to come speak to your team. I just, like you said earlier, that there was some other pressing matters. I mean, if it's every season that some team is being left out from concession. So if, like, I mean, over 100, maybe 200, maybe 300 students are being affected, and if that's not probably, like, a really important issue, this is how we can get it across, that it's more important. <laughs> And I, I completely heard you when you said that you're going to address it, and that I don't right. feel that you're not going to investigate, but that's but, that's just but why again, I think it resulted in this. It came to my attention two days ago, and the more pressing issue was raised through the same channels. But I think as a student at Grand Hills, 85 or above, I don't know the statistic, where we have free or reduced lunches. And I think that can show everyone that we can't afford equipment on our own. And without a concession, our equipment's not paid for. So our single parents or our parents that work in the fields have to get I, out I of their pocket the and pay for equipment. And, and trust so me, that's the demographics here at Grand not all that different than the other high schools. The whole community has pretty similar demographics. So it's not just an economic issue for Granite Hills. It's an economic issue for all our high schools.